Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to scoop a finished model. Okay, so let's say this model is finished um, and I want to scoop out material here to decrease the metal weight. Okay, so I'm just going to blank out this shape and swap the entity visibility. So we're just working with the shape itself, the shank. Okay, so this is not a simple uh, shape. Now we have various uh, inset areas and um, offset areas. So it's not going to be simple to create the scoop. We can't just do a simple shell. Okay, if we had a simple shank, we might just be able to shell the thickness of negative one and just keep this area open. It fails because we have this intricate geometry. We could probably get away with something very tiny. But, uh, but we can't, and uh, that just goes to prove the point. You know, when we get to the end of a build, and we realise that we actually needed to have scooped it. If it's a if it's a very complicated build, we may not want to go back in history, because scooping out material could affect subsequent operations um, for any number of reasons. But we're essentially at a point now where we have a finished model, and we have to scoop out material. How do we do it? Well, there's a couple of methods. One method to try is with our scooping tool. Right. Design sketches ring, scoop. Okay, we pick the shape that we want to scoop. This is only going to ring, uh, work with closed um, ring shanks. Okay, so if there's an open ring shank, it won't work unless you fill up that space temporarily. Okay, what we're doing here is essentially creating a remove shape. Okay. And it's using points to track the um, outside of this shank and creating a shape with various parameters from those points. Okay, so we have things we can modify here. Groove in, groove out, start, end. Okay, these are going to affect how far around our scoop is coming. So maybe we want to increase this to 150. Typically we want to match it uh, on the opposite side, 150. Okay, the end, let's change this to 110, move to 110. Okay, so what we're seeing here, um, just so we know what these previews mean, is the green curve signifies our shape, our shank, and the red signifies the scoop, scooping shape that we will create. Okay, so we can see these sort of cross sections, and at the moment we have a low resolution. Okay, so these are quite a general shape. It's not really taking into account any of these intricate areas. So we can increase our resolutions, and this will improve the, um, I guess, the matching of our shank shape. Sometimes I like to make these around 50 to really increase that resolution and try and match the shape of the shank. But you know, it depends on what you're after. Maybe you don't really want to match that shape. Oftentimes you want something scooped out that is smooth in there. So you might want to drop it down to something like this, a bit more of a smooth scooped out um, area. Okay, if you do want to increase the ring resolution uh, or the cross resolution to something like 50, my recommendation is that you do this at the end. If you, if you increase the resolution now and play around with the other parameters, it's going to behave very slowly. Okay, so do it at the end. There's other things we can uh, play with here. Our bottom extension, how far out this is extending. Okay, obviously we want this to extend beyond the green profile. Our taper, okay, it affects how much of a taper we have on our um, scoop shape, okay. So we typically want to have a, a nice taper there. The ring resolution, I'm gonna leave these low. Okay, we have a few other Things to play with. We can preview our uh, scoop in different manners. At the moment, we're previewing it in a wireframe offset. We can do wireframe in place uh, of surface. You can actually see the surface that we're going to create. Well, from this, I can tell that you know I want to. You know, it's not really uh, scooping material out here, so I need to uh, fix this. Maybe I'll increase my end. Negative uh, 30, 30. Okay, it's creating a bit of a funny shape here. 
and this will happen um, if you have a very complex shape and we'll see an alternative strategy for this scoop if it fails okay and it looks like it might not get the best result here and in fact this makes sense to me you have a very small amount of material here but a large amount of material here so it would be better if I do not scoop as far around let's decrease these to 120 100 100 120 so you're probably going to get a better result if you have uh, a small value there if you don't have much material here you don't really want to scoop that out okay so let's say we're happy with that we just confirm the operation and then it's just a combine remove of the shape with our scoop okay you can see here that we've scooped out with this uh, ring offset let me redefine my um, scoop I'm just going to increase this ring offset here let's just make it one and then we'll do the combine remove again just widening it widening it up a bit so, okay, so that's one method and that actually worked out but many times if the shape is very complicated as and it often will be at the end of a build um, we need to employ a different strategy okay so we can't use it let's say we can't use the scoop tool okay, the alternative strategy is to build up the scoop shape manually okay so to do this we look for surfaces that we can offset that will uh, allow us to build up a shape so what i can see from here is this surface here it looks like it might be pretty good so we're going to do a face offset of that surface freeform uh, offset this face and i'm going to offset it a negative one so we have a negative one or a one millimeter thickness and let's give it a different color the red and we want to keep the original surface. We need to blank out this shape now. Okay, so we have this offset surface. And from this, I'm simply going to build up uh, a shape. I'm going to join the dots essentially down here. Okay, joining the dots. Oh, this gives me uh, a chance to show you something else. Okay, well, I don't want to show that. Okay, so we're just going to join the dots up now. Okay, we're going to draw a line from these uh, edges, these endpoints, same on the opposite side. And with this, we will create our uh, surfaces. So I want to make sure that's at the endpoint there. Okay, so I'm going to come in now with some uh, end sided patches, do them up here. I sometimes find the FEM patch is a bit more reliable with complicated surfaces. Going to a curve here. I'm not too fussed about this shape. I just need it to remove nicely. And let's confirm and see how that appears. Okay, it's not the best surface down here, but well that's not going to work let's undo that and see what's going on here perhaps it would be better if i drew this well, hmm. i'll go come in with another line in here and there this inner point and we'll try the inside it on this one well it's not liking that ah, I did not draw those curves correctly let me try again wireframe line on the end point do that inside point And then we'll do the inside it. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of this um, nasty little area 
defining it as a separate surface so that I can get a better overall surface here. Should tidy things up a bit. Let's see what's happening. And that looks to be better. We build up the op opposite side, and it looks like I have to do something similar here. Let's just go ahead with that. Okay. And we'll do a FEM patch edge curve, and then the edge again. Just holding down shift and right click to bring up, bring up the entity fields there during an operation. So we'll do the FEM patch again. All edges. And that seems very tidy. One final area to do edge, or perhaps a quicker way to do this would be the heel, heel gap, pick all the edges by default, and there we go. We should have a closed shape now. Just doing a right click, entity info, closed. Okay, so that's what we want to see. Let's come back into our main environment. And we're going to unblank all. And now we just need to do a combine remove shape. Combine remove. There we have a scoop, we have scooped out area by creating a manual scooping shape. We get quite a nice result there. Perhaps we're getting a bit tight to the edge at certain points, so we can always just increase our surface offset to account for that. Okay, so that's uh, a manual way to create a scoop after we've finished a more of a complex build.